Guest, welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm making honey coconut caramelized chicken. Oh, isn't it sounds so amazing? I received a really special gift from all the way UK, and that is this cookbook. Ta -ta! <laughs> Tui, the owner and the executive chef of the Little Viet Kitchen in London, UK. She just launched her first ever cookbook and oh my gosh, I've been following her so long on her Instagram. If you are a foodie, definitely follow her on Instagram because it's so beautiful and so inspirational. I love just looking at her Instagram uh, pictures, it's so gorgeous. So anyways, I'm cooking one of her recipe from her cookbook, the honey coconut glazed chicken I made it this one time already guys let me tell you so delicious so anyways I'm chopping really really finely chopping my green onion only the white part and I believe this is probably for tenderizing the chicken and also give a nice onion flavor into the chicken five green onions the only the white part that I chopped putting into a dish that where I'm gonna marinate my chicken and keep this green part of green onions um, just to use it for different dish that if you want to garnish with a nice green color so that would be really nice and now I'm gonna add three Thai chili that I finely chopped as well. Five cloves of garlic that finely chopped. Let's add one tablespoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. Half tablespoon of fish sauce. And one and a half tablespoon of sesame oil. Just combine all this mixture. So UK measurement is a little bigger than the US measurement. So I cut the recipe exactly half with only four chicken thighs. All right, this smell as a freaking delicious already. So in here, let's add the chicken. So I prepared the bone-in, skin-on chicken thigh, and I understand some of you guys probably wanted to use uh, chicken breast, more lighter meat, but for this recipe, there is a little braising portion. So actually, darker meat works better so we don't have to worry about drying out the chicken you know what I mean so add the chicken into the marinade make sure your chicken is coated evenly with the marinade you can do this step in a plastic bag but I just decided to do it in a dish like this so you guys can see it better now I'm going to cover with plastic wrap and we are going to marinate this chicken in a refrigerator for an hour So while the chicken is marinating, I sliced the one large onion to add into the chicken later. And I made the dipping sauce. It's very simple. It's just simply chopped Thai chili and fish sauce. There's not really a, a recipe for it because it's totally up to you how many chili that you want to add into the fish sauce. I added like a three or four of them, but you can add how many of you want. If you don't like spicy, Forget about the Thai chili and just dip the chicken a little bit on the fish sauce while you're eating or serve with the rice. That all explained in the cookbook. So now I'm heating up my large skillet over medium heat to sear my chicken. So into the hot skillet, I'm going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and kind of wipe off that marinated part from the chicken, just like a little bit, not all of them and we are going to sear that skin side. So what you wanna do is add this chicken skin side down. Okay, carefully. So on the cookbook, Tui says uh, sear the chicken one by one, but you know me, I'm always a hurry to eat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sear all four at one time. And keep the marinade, we're gonna add it in later. We are going to sear them about two to three minutes, only the skin side. Tui 
the author of the cookbook, her mom used to cook this dish very often and she packed up uh, the leftovers for her and her siblings as a lunchbox and it was a really sweet story and every recipe on her cookbook has those like a little sweet lovely stories that she shared together. It's really lovely. It makes it a little more personal, you know. When you know that person a little more personally, then you want to know what they are cooking, how they put in flavor together. It's more interesting, you know what I mean? It smells so good in this house right now. Okay, my chickens are really nicely seared. We are searing only the skin part, not the meat part. So we're gonna take the chicken out for now. So we can remove all the excess oil on the pan and some burnt feet that we don't want in our dish. Now grab a paper towel and tap all this oil. And there is more oil in here after the chicken skin and chicken fat is melted down to the pan. Drop this chicken back to the pan. Ooh. Another sizzle sizzle. Make sure you put all these juices in there too. Let's pour one and a half cup of coconut water, 100% coconut water, no sweeten. Woo! And then those onions that I sliced earlier, just putting in between the chicken. Perfect. And don't forget this, all the flavor right here. I'm gonna pour all this in here too. Oh, by the way, I didn't cut the chili in half from the recipe. I just added all of them <laughs> because I like spicy. Looking good, looking good. The onion will melt down into the sauce and then when the coconut water, it will only make the chicken thigh even more, even more succulent. So make sure it's a medium low, low heat. We are going to cover and let it simmer for 25 minutes. Now we are going to increase the heat to high heat and drizzle one and a half tablespoon of honey. The honey will help chicken to be nice and glazed and give that really shiny look at the end. <sighs> the smell of the coconut water with all the flavor we're putting into boiling all together. My mouth is like really worrying. Just stir occasionally until the sauce will become a little like a syrupy, caramelized, and the chicken is coated with the syrupy, nice caramelized sauce evenly. It will take about 20 to 25 minutes. The book doesn't explain about it, how long it will take, but in my experience, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. Maybe it takes longer for me since I'm using electronic stuff. I noticed a huge difference while I was having a gas stove at uh, my previous kitchen, the cooking time in gas stove is so much quicker. It's so much quicker. So when the sauces start to thicken like this, you can tell because they look a little heavier. They move and boiling a little more slower. So this is the point that you want to like move around the chicken, like a flip it over and flip it back. So the chicken will be evenly coated with this beautiful, beautiful golden brown caramel light sauce. Okay, now I'm going to pop this chicken under the high broiler or 500 degrees broiler about a couple of minutes until the chicken skin is nice and crisp this is totally optional you don't have to do that uh, you don't have to do that part but as it is it's so delicious but I'm always you know going extra you know what I mean oh make sure before you pop this chicken into the uh, broiler though make sure your pan is safe to pop it into the oven or broil like that Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful chicken. <laughs> now I'm gonna serve the chicken on top of the jasmine rice. My mouth is literally 
watering so bad <laughs> right now. Oh, nicely caramelized. Put all this beautiful glaze sauce all over. Let it drip over the rice. This little red chili from the fish sauce that I soaked in a little bit. Uh, Cause if I just dip in the fish sauce, it gets tempted to a little too salty. So I like to sprinkle this chilies from the fish sauce mixture I made earlier. chicken it cools the rice it definitely needs rice but if you're like me it cools the beer too I forgot how to drink beer <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. you know all the cookbooks are not really lizard and when I find that actually the cookbook has a legit, legit recipe, I'm down for it. You can purchase this cookbook from Amazon UK. It will launch in US very soon too. But uh, for now, if you're not patient like me, you can order from Amazon UK or enter this giveaway. So. We will give away this amazing The Little VA Kitchen Cookbook by Tui. One book internationally. So wherever you are in the world, we will ship this book. So make sure you enter this giveaway. You need to just follow this simple three rules. One, make sure you follow Tui's and my Instagram account. Second, leave your uh, Instagram username on the comment with I love honey chicken. So we know you are entering the giveaway. The winner will be announced by the DM. Yes, uh, the Instagram direct message. So make sure you leave your account name, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked this little Viet Kitchen's honey and coconut caramelized chicken recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah. <laughs> oh, by the way, get my merch. Get my merch! Get my merch! Mm -mm -mm. How cool is that?